Hello everybody and welcome to our daily celebration of Mass at Our Lady and St. John's. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us turn to our Lord who loves us so much and ask him to forgive our sins and help us to be better. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. After the death of Naboth, the word of the Lord came to Elijah the Tishbite. Up, go down to meet Ahab, king of Israel, in Samaria. You will find him in Naboth's vineyard. He has gone down to take possession of it. You are to say this to him. The Lord says this. You have committed murder. Now you usurp as well. For this, and the Lord says this, in the place where the dogs lick the blood of Naboth, the dogs will lick your blood too. Ahab said to Elijah, So you have found me out, O my enemy. Elijah answered, I have found you out for your double dealing and since you have done what is displeasing to the Lord, I will now bring disaster down on you. I will sweep away your descendants and wipe out every male belonging to the family of Ahab, fettered or free in Israel. I will treat your house as I treated the house of Jeroboam, son of Nebat, and of Baasha, son of Ahijah for provoking my anger and leading Israel into sin. Against Jezebel, the Lord spoke these words. The dogs will eat Jezebel in the field of Jezreel. Those of Ahab's family who die in the city, the dogs will eat. And those who die in the open country, the birds of the air will eat. And indeed, there never was anyone like Ahab for double dealing and for doing what is displeasing to the Lord, urged on by Jezebel, his wife. He behaved in the most abominable way, adhering to idols, just as the Amorites used to do, whom the Lord had dispossessed for the sons of Israel. When Ahab heard these words, he tore his garments and put sackcloth next to his skin and fasted. He slept in the sackcloth. He walked with slow steps. Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah the Tishbite. Have you seen how Ahab has humbled himself before me? Since he has humbled himself before me, I will not bring the disaster in his days. I will bring the disaster down on his house in the days of his son. The Responsorial Psalm Have mercy on us, Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, God, in your holiness. In your compassion blot out my offence. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. Have mercy on us, Lord, for we have sinned. 
My offences truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? Have mercy on us, Lord, for we have sinned. From my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. Oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. Have mercy on us, Lord, for we have sinned. Alleluia, alleluia. God in Christ was reconciling the world to himself and he has entrusted to us the news that we are reconciled. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, you have learned how it was said, you must love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say this to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. In this way you will be sons of your Father in heaven, for he causes his Son to rise on bad men as well as good, and his reign to fall on honest and dishonest men alike. For if you love those who love you, what right have you to claim any credit? Even the tax collectors do as much, do they not? And if you save your greetings for your brothers, are you doing anything exceptional? Even the pagans do as much, do they not? You must therefore be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the coronavirus that has claimed lives and affected so many people. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and the cause of this virus and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of doctors, nurses, medical staff, experts and all healthcare workers that they may minister to the sick with love, compassion and skill. We pray for all those who have died from COVID-19 and for their families and friends. May the Lord bring them to the glory of heaven. We pray for all who are ill from the virus, that the Lord may heal them soon through the ministry of others. We pray for all who work in any way at this time to help our society function, those who are involved with producing, selling and delivering food, those who keep our transport systems and utilities going, and all those in other frontline jobs. We pray for all who are struggling with isolation, loneliness, depression and financial problems. Give us all the grace to deepen our trust in you, O Lord, and so support each other in every way we can. Let us ask for the intercession of Our Lady. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All holy men and women, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, 
Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mark our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever. 
and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. A spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul, so that I may unite myself wholly to you, now and forever. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd just like to thank Tom for providing the recording of the reading and responsorial psalm today. And may I wish you all a very good day. And now let us ask for God's blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.